Hey guys, Stevie James here for Loud Wire at Rock on the Range. It's day three. We're trugging right along. I'm joined by Dave and Kyle. We came as Rosen. Romans, if I can talk, it's early. First interview, don't judge me. How we doing? What's up? Doing pretty good. We rolled in a little bit little bit ago and uh, ready to play. Looks like it's pretty nice out. I heard that it was raining yesterday pretty bad, but I think the kids are ready to, to amp it up and end this uh, festival strong. We had the rain, we had the thunder, we had the delays, but now we got beautiful skies. You guys came at the perfect time. Um, so speaking of festivals, you guys did Northern Invasion about a week ago. What was that like? It was pretty fun. Um, yeah, a lot of big bands. Uh, we had a little bit of technical issues, but uh, we ended up being able to play our whole set, and, and the crowd was insane. What kind uh, of technical difficulties were you having? Um, we had a power drop. Yeah, <laughs> power uh, kind of messed up our board a little bit and so it took us a while to get it back and run in and we actually ran with no ears so yeah there was a uh, a brown out which <laughs> um kind of fried our board in a way so we had to like it we, we didn't we weren't able to figure this out before the set there just wasn't time but after the set we had to actually like take our front of house console apart and then pull the power to like reset it and we were all freaked out we thought our ten thousand dollar board was I, was about to, I was about to say how panicked were you guys oh, having dude, to deal with all that i thought i was going to be sick but then uh we pulled the power reset it and it was good to go but other than that it was sweet <laughs> so today we're going to go with no technical difficulties that'll be that'll be the uh the way you know man it's it's rock and roll i feel like things go wrong more than they go right so you know when things like that happen you just got to roll with the punches Absolutely, I couldn't agree more because something's always going to go wrong. And then what separates the good from the great are the ones who know how to deal yeah, with those dude. situations. I love it. Murphy's Law is the best way to describe it. Yes, tour. what, just, what <laughs> can go wrong will, will. over and <laughs> over and over again. Uh, so between Northern Invasion, on your way here, you guys did a little run with uh, Miss May I and like Moths to Flames. How was, I mean, it was like only like a week or so, I think it was. But how was that little run you, get, you did with those guys? Yeah, it was just five shows and... Um, it was easy. I mean, it, it was. We didn't really feel like flying in for one festival, flying home, flying in for another one, flying home. It's, you know, it not cost effective and, you know, not as much fun as just doing a few shows in the middle. Um, so yeah, it was cool. We've been friends with both those bands for so long, so it was a nice little uh, reunion. Nice. So Cold Like War came out um, almost like six months ago, something like that. So I think there's been a, enough time for fans to really digest it and, and get it into their ears. You've been playing it out and all that good stuff. What's kind of been the reception like? And, and for you guys, I know you're playing a lot of the stuff off the new record. How's it been like getting to play it out and really, really promoting the record over the past six months? It's honestly been incredible. Like, it, it really seemed like even like just the singles that we put out beforehand, like, as soon as we started doing our, our headliner, it was, like, so loud. We couldn't even, like, I couldn't even hear myself <laughs> half the time. Like, the response has been, like, so, like, it's breathtaking to hear. Like, we, we just were in Europe, and they were singing some of our songs so loud that it was, like, it, I felt like I was in a stadium, you know? It was, it was so cool. And that's off the new record you're and saying there. And that's off the yeah. new record, too. That's so. crazy. Like, it, it, it's just a really good feeling, and uh, we only have more time, you know. I can't say that we've ever had a uh, record get received as quickly as this one did. Um, you know, I would say Hope is probably one of our biggest songs, and even that song took people, you know, probably six, seven months to really latch on to and understand and know the words and love it. But um, this record was nuts. Yeah, the very first show we did was in Pittsburgh um, on the Cold Like War Tour. And we opened with vultures, and the you know I did the I never found peace, and I was like, all right, I'm gonna take a chance on this one. Held the mic out, and it was so loud that I actually lost count, of like, oh, no. like the click, and I was like, oh shit, I'm lost now. But it totally like Caught knocked off me guard. off my feet. Yeah, That's I mean, awesome. um, it feels good. I mean, we've like I said, we've never had a record get received so well so quickly, um, and especially over in Europe too. Um, you know, over in Europe we didn't play anything old we were just playing all new stuff because nobody cared about the old stuff which was <laughs> also strange <laughs> that's a good sign usually a lot of bands will kind of get stuck on their older catalog yeah. and it's hard to kind of push that new stuff because people want to you know sing their favorite songs and everything so that's awesome you got the new the new stuff out and that's what everyone's gravitating to right away yeah it's been super exciting so we got some questions from the fans i'm going to dive into a couple of these if you guys are watching try to get your questions in before you run out of time um here's one from a dude named robert what are the bands you looked up to um, back when 
Um, I was starting the band, uh, The Bled, Under Oath, Story of the Year, Thrice. I still love Thrice, man. <laughs> um, and especially just the way they progressed, you know, from when they were a younger band to now. Um, and, you know, it seems like their fans follow them no matter what they do, which yep. is super awesome. Yep. Um, my influence have changed nowadays, but back then, those were my big influences. Uh, Pendulum. Huge. Huge Done. influence for me, yeah. Period. <laughs> Awesome. Next one uh, from a guy named Nick. What's your favorite bands that aren't heavy? It's like all Kyle listens to is like EDM and stuff. So this is an easy one for him. <laughs> um, band wise, you know what? I think one of my more interesting ones would probably be Pendulum again. I mean, since <laughs> not really that heavy. Two for Chase two. Status is pretty good too. Okay, I'm with it. Um. I think the strangest I'm trying to think of the strangest I've ever listened to I would say uh, Lana Del Rey love her okay um, I'm with it yeah she's, she's that's, awesome no, that's good shit I'm with it seen her a couple times she's, she's really good absolutely uh, Bon Iver um, The Midnight uh, Post Malone um, uh, God Kendrick Lamar um, I think there's a few more but yeah those are the, those are the big a, ones that's a good I listen range. to regularly yeah, yeah that's a good range I like it I'll do one more from the fans. We got Kyle asking, what's your favorite record that's come out in 2018? So favorite record that's come out this year, if you have one. I like the new Elohim record. Uh, it's this girl uh, that's from California. And she's actually, uh, she actually did a couple songs with one of our, uh, one of our lawyers over here, uh, his son. I actually went to school with him, and I checked out her band, and I was really blown away by what she's done. And I think it's probably my favorite record of the year sick so um i mean the last the last few weeks we've been listening to uh the new post malone which is sweet um and the word alive just dropped a record which um i think is their best record they've ever done so we've been jamming that too okay bold claim i'll take it though yeah. i like it <laughs> i like it so before i let you guys get out of here just kind of give me the rundown what's what's on the agenda for 2018 what what's uh what's coming up next dude we we took so much time to write this new record um we took a you know, full 11 or 12 months off, not touring or anything, but just focusing on making the best record possible. And now that it's out and it's being well received, I think we're just going to keep riding the momentum, keep playing shows and um, staying busy. I mean, we're already booking out the, the rest of the year, which I can't really talk about yet, but we're going to be, uh, <laughs> we're going to be on the road and um, going over the place and just continuing to play the, the new record. Awesome. Well, I appreciate you guys taking the time to sit down and talk with us today. We came as Romans. The record is cold like war. They're coming to a city near, near you. We can't tell you where yet, but it's going to be a city near Same. you, <laughs> and it's going to be awesome, but it's coming up. I'm Stevie James for Loudwire. We're at Rockin' the Range. Thanks for watching, guys.